Hi, it's Michelle Vasquez with True Love Relationship Coaching. I'd like to talk to you about the differences between male and female, and the differences indeed between people. Everybody you encounter, whether you are from the same culture, whether you have identical values, whether you were raised together as siblings in the same household, every one of the people you encounter has a different brain. And that means that you're never going to know exactly what is in that person's mind. We don't have telepathy in this culture, and I'm kind of glad. I like to keep my thoughts private. So, how does this affect relationships? In your relationship, they've done a lot of studies with male and female brains, and what they've come up with is that men and women do think differently. Some of that is socialization. Some of that is brain biology. So given that, you may have some trouble with your relationship because the two of you don't think alike, even if you were raised in similar cultures and values, and maybe you even raised next door to each other. So when you think about it, the best way to understand the person that you love is through dialogue. Through dialoguing with each other about what we think and how we understand things and for instance when you did that particular thing this is how I felt this is what I thought and this is what I made it mean those kind of things to be able to say that to somebody else is it's, it's almost like it's mind opening it's like wow I never understood that about you and thank you for letting me know because now I have a bit of insight into the way that you think which is different than how I think and this is how I thought about that particular thing and this is how I felt when it happened and this is what it made I made it mean to me those kind of things are necessary if you want to have a happy healthy relationship so I would encourage you if you've got a relationship in which you have one or two <laughs> it's usually usually the man who's reluctant to talk but not always sometimes the woman is very reluctant for whatever reason I would encourage both of you to establish a time for dialogue even if it's five to ten minutes a day to just say hey this is what's going on with me clear the air and um, be able to talk with each other about what things mean. One of the things that I would encourage you to do is air out differences. If you're holding back, and you, you might be creating resentment. So I'll talk more about that in another video, but the main thing I want you to get out of this video today is the importance of dialogue in being able to understand a person with a different brain perhaps a brain of the other gender and a, a brain that is you're never going to be able to get inside completely but that you can grow to understand better through dialogue this has been Michelle Vasquez with True Love Relationship Coaching